Yes, yes, Unisport fam. We are back for another tutorial. And today I am teaching you the most overpowered skill move. You heard it, today we're breaking it down into three easy steps so you can get it. And then we're covering the mistakes. And finally, I'll show you how to pan out all your opponents for this move. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the move you're gonna learn. It's called clapping, otherwise known as the clapper. The first step is super simple. It's an L turn, looks a little bit like this. And we're actually gonna do this move stationary. What I mean by this is we're gonna plant our strong foot on the ball, that's my right foot. We're gonna plant the sole of the foot on top of the ball. We're gonna be directly in line with, it with our standing leg. We're gonna move the ball backwards and hop forwards at the same time, just like this. So as we move the ball backwards with our strong foot, we hop forwards with our weak, and we release the ball with the tip of our toe behind our standing leg. This creates the L shape. And if you were left footed, it would look like so. On the field, this is a good move to use just for changing direction. However, for the clapper, we want to be stationary, and we're just going to hop forwards to get out of the way. Then we're going to reclaim it with our weak foot, and this is all for step one. So step two is super simple, it's the roll back. And all it is simply is with our weak foot, we're gonna roll the ball behind our leg. We're gonna put our feet together and that is all. We just wanna make sure we get the angle right. So we're gonna go straight away from step one, roll back. And you don't wanna roll it too fast. If you roll it too fast, it's gonna be very hard to control. So with the roll back, just make sure that you roll it on the outside of your foot like so. And then for step three, we're gonna grab it and switch. So for step three, it's just gonna be about reclaiming possession with our strong foot. We've just done the rollback, and as soon as it gets behind our standing foot, we're gonna grab it and pull forwards. You'll notice as well, as we pull forward, we were gonna hop backwards with our weak foot. And then we're in the starting position to go again. So step one, roll back, step two, and now we reclaim directly behind us. As we pull forwards, we hop back, and that gets our leg out the way. And that is all for the clapper. Once you've done a full motion once, step one, stop, roll, stop, reclaim. Now try and piece it together without taking the pauses. Well now, my aim, what I always say is if you can do three in a row, you're on good stead. So we're gonna go for one, two, three. Once you've got that, you've got the clapper down. Now it's time to dodge some common mistakes and then see how you can nutmeg someone with it. So common mistake number one, and this is a big one. Lots of people forget to do the hops. If you forget to do the hops, it will look a bit like this. And this is me trying to go really fast, right? So I'm really trying to go fast. And what's super important about the clapper is that if you practice this, your foot speed will increase. The touches on the ball, your balance coordination. Part of this is because we're using the hop. If we don't use the hop, we can't get our legs out of the way in time. And no matter how hard we try, it won't be fast. With the hop, you can do it pretty fast because it allows your feet to get out of the way, right? So, mistake number one is not using the hops. Make sure you really focus on the initial hop at the start and the final hop in step three when you reclaim it. Common mistake number two. This is a big one as well. On step two with the rollback, many people will try and roll it between their own legs. Do not do this, it kind of looks a bit funny. You're not really gonna be able to reclaim it. Just make sure when you're doing it that you go out and as you roll it, it's gonna go back diagonally. And that leads on to the third and final mistake, sometimes the shape. Lots of people can do this move and they end up turning or rotating. That's not what we want. To practice this effectively, try and keep your shoulders forward and try and create a V-like shape as you're doing it. It will look like this. And you see that I'm trying to keep my shoulders forward and I'm trying to maintain the same line. This is gonna help with practice. And most importantly, it's gonna help when we're on the pitch or when we're trying to make an opponent. So finally, what we've all been waiting for, the time to nutmeg someone with this move. So although we can practice it continuously to improve foot speed, on the pitch, we are not gonna stand there and do this move all the time. However, you will have seen pros use this move as a one-off and for a panner. There's two ways to use the clapper to nutmeg an opponent. The first way is super common on the streets. 
And how you do this is you're gonna put your weak side shoulder, so my left side, towards the opponent. We're gonna aim the L turn to go towards the outside of their leg. This will cause them to step and in doing so, it will leave the gap for us to exploit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna aim our shoulder towards them, we're gonna do an L turn out wide, and we're gonna really accentuate how far out it's going. With a change of speed, this will cause the opponent to step. We're gonna roll the ball across our body with our weak foot to meet it with our strong foot and touch through to get the panner. This move really works if the opponent thinks that we're gonna to go towards our left. And that's why they will have to commit and we'll be able to hit the nutmeg. However, if the opponent actually thinks we're gonna go backwards, the second variation we can do, we do the same body position. However, after we do the L turn, instead of nutmegging them and going towards the left, we're gonna roll the ball back with the sole of our foot, hit it with the outside of our strong foot, and that's when we hit the gap to go in a different direction. You'll have seen players like Neymar use this on the pitch, and it's super effective. Of course, this is a risky move to use. However, if you've got the confidence, I'll be super excited to see you hit it. If not, make sure you practice the clapper to improve your foot speed, improve your balance, and to make sure you nutmeg your friends. I'm super excited to see you get this move down. Make sure you practice continuous clapping to improve your foot speed and balance. And don't forget to try this nutmeg out. Nutmeg your opponents, and if you're brave, do it on the pitch and I'm super excited to see you hit it. So that is it for today's tutorial. Big up Unisport fam. If you've learned something, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below what skill you want to learn next week. And of course, subscribe for more skills.